Hey guys, today I'm going to give you a good basic overview on the classes in Bless so you can better understand what to expect from each and hopefully this will help you uh, make up your mind on what class fits you best. In the video playing you can enjoy a bit of combat of each class as I'm talking about it, no UI style. We're going to start with the damage dealers and then we're going to move on to the core classes. First of all, the mage is your typical caster DPS that uses air, fire and ice as elements to invoke spells. They are ranged but will not snipe you from the other side of the world and they do have some powerful medium range spells. So in reality your playstyle um, won't be from another map in terms of distance. In order to maximize your damage, mages wear light armor and as you can imagine they are very squishy. Because of that the class does require a good amount of awareness if you want to do a super good job and you know maintain a super high DPS. Leveling also feels great with a mage, so does grinding at end game um, due to their high damage and CC. Mages are really good DPS as you would expect and also have a lot of AoE spells plus a lot of crowd control options, making them very useful in endgame groups. The combat style will surprise you, and if you're expecting that you're, you're gonna stand still and cast most of the times, then you're in for a nice surprise. Moving on to rangers, they use a bow, they wear medium armor mostly, so that brings a bit more survivability compared to light wearers. A ranger's damage is lower than a mage's damage and is more single target focused. Having that said, the difference in survivability in between light and medium only matters if whoever or whatever you're fighting doesn't really hit you that hard. And what I'm trying to say is, if you're PvPing, let's say, versus someone with equal gear, then yes, medium does feel more survivable than light. But if you're doing an endgame dungeon, a really hard one, um, you being medium doesn't make you have a big advantage over a light wearer, as you'll both die if not attentive anyway. So if you have played um, Aeon by any chance, Ranger kind of feels the same and I personally love the class in Aeon so you will also feel right at home in place. In terms of endgame, you can imagine that Rangers are more viable in PvP than in PvE. However, I personally see no major flaws with a ranger in harder 5 or 10 man content, so I doubt you're gonna be lonely even though in some scenarios a saucer or a berserker might be a stronger choice. Speaking about berserkers, good segue, uh, they are a monster combination in between Aeon's gladiators and Terra's zerkers. They can wear armor up to heavy and that gives them a good amount of survivability. They have really good damage and really good AoE. I'd put them on the same spot as mages, let's say, in terms of both AoE and DPS output. With a Berserker, you can expect that some skills will be available to cast while moving um, and some others require you to stand still or uh, charge a specific skill for a specific amount of time. Same as in Terra, basically. Leaps, beeps and all the other cool flashy stuff uh, are included in the Berserker package. Leveling one um, is uh, one of the best experiences I've had. It was fast without deaths and drama, so really cool. At end game, Berserker is very wanted and very useful in any groups, PvP or PvE. They can off tank or in some scenarios even main tank and in general are very useful if played right, obviously. Next up, Assassins. Yes, they are melee, they have hide. Yes, there's an ambush and yes, they can carve runes with a system that is a combination of Terra Warrior rune carving and AO assassin one. Um, if you play Terra or Aeon you know exactly what that does. Yes, the more runes the more damage of XYZ skills uh, that remove the runes or longer stuns or whatnot. They also prefer medium armor and uh, are good as a single target damage dealer. Leveling is okay as a sin I personally found myself dying a few times because being medium plus melee does hurt. At end game they do um, as good job in PvP as you can imagine. Uh, they also have a sleep, something you didn't imagine. Uh, harder group PvE content might just be a little bit too full with other classes and um, it also takes a, a good player to avoid being on the floor constantly as a sin since you're melee. Um, however, 
I do see the option of some that play really well to sneak in and be viable um, so they can take a spot of a berserker or a mage which is gonna be pretty hard. Uh, kind of the same situation as with rangers to be honest. Now we've covered the damage dealers, let's get into the three core classes. What I call core are classes that are a must in one way or another in order to do endgame content and reach the maximum potential of a group without major compromises. In other words, tank and healer since DPSs are slightly interchangeable. First of all Guardians, the main tanks in Bless prefers heavy armor, has a shield, has lots of defensive cooldowns, taunts and can hold their own very well. Think of them as a combination of Terra's Lancer and Aeon's Templar for example. They do very few damage compared to other classes and because of that leveling one up alone um, can be a little bit boring and grinding with one at end game is not the most efficient thing you can do. In PvE you will tank and that's about it but there's nothing to worry about you can do it extremely well. Um, in small scale PvP, Guardians are currently not extremely popular because of what I've just said, low damage and because they do not bring um, any spectacular group utility skills to the table, like for example in Aeon Templars brought um, Empyrean Providence, Bodyguard, Prayer of Victory, etc. It's a class that in my opinion needs a slight buff and who knows maybe even a new type of weapon to wear to become at least a half viable damage dealer on top of what it already is, which is a really really strong uh, tank. So if you want to play one, I think there's going to be good times ahead. Having that said, they do have some very nice AoE and single target CC, plus very good survivability which uh, I can see working well in groups for open world PvP and sieges. It is also one of the top needed and uh, wanted classes in endgame PvE content and if you play one well, you will uh, never have to look long for groups. We're going to wrap up with the healers guys. Paladin first, a very versatile class that has the option to be the main healer or in part a tank. You can go for light, medium or heavy depending on the role. Paladins have some very good group utilities, mostly defensive ones, but not only and great heals on top of that. You are not gonna reach a spectacular DPS number with Paladin and that also tells you um, leveling one and grinding at end game is not the fastest endeavor. So. It's a very rewarding class to play though and it looks great also. At end game a paladin is uh, almost a must in every group, group PvE or PvP and most people prefer it as a healer because it's strong. Tanking on a paladin is something different than what you are used to and uh, it does take some time to truly feel it. The reason why it is um, not common in hard content to see one tanking. Um, Healing on a Paladin feels um, familiar, but it has a few twists of its own. I'm gonna let you guys discover that yourselves. And uh, speaking of twists, this is a really good segue to uh, Mystics, a very twisty class. Mystics are the other healers in Bless, with the option to be the main healer as well. Their heals are great, even though the way they do it is significantly different than Paladins. They have large AoE persistent buffs, they have hot skills, not hot as in good looking, but healing over time. They have single target heals and AoE heals. It feels like the better your group is, the more value you get out of your Mystic. Um, kind of similar to how Mystics work in Terra. Honestly, they feel uh, great to play and on top of that their damage is pretty nice. It is not uncommon for a Mystic to even run as a DPS in some endgame content. Of course, not as good as a Sorcerer or Berserker, but just saying leveling won't be a problem and grinding at endgame is actually gonna be enjoyable. Um, if I would have to compare the Mystic with uh, classes from other games, I'd say that it's like a Chanter with more damage and a realistic option to be the main healer, or like a Mystic in Terra with more overtime heals. Obviously they are wanted in endgame groups, equally in all game types, PvE and PvP. That's everything guys, 7 classes all done. There will be one more class added in the future called Warlock, but I'm gonna cover that in a video of its own. Uh, when it's gonna be available. I would also like to mention that in Bless the PvE content is challenging and by content I'm not talking about your level 41 mobs while leveling but cool endgame stuff so no matter what class you play if you put in enough dedication and passion into it and if you find the right people to play with the game will feel rewarding and fun. After the western launch of the game I'm sure you guys are gonna come up with crazy strats, builds and weird group compositions but uh, until then uh, I wish you guys lots of love.